132 pound final. This is the marquee final in Division One. Green ankle band is Edgar Bright of St. Edward Wrestling. Joey Ward of Archbishop Moeller. Moeller is in the navy blue singlet. St. Ed's in black, the traditional Howard Ferguson black St. Ed's singlet for finals. Ward, the defending champion, won at 125 last year, beating Kagan Squire, who he defeated in a classic in semis last night. Ward defending his title against Bright, who was the runner-up last season to George D. Camillo, who just saw win in his second title at 120. Bright lost that match in overtime. Bright has defeated Ward twice already this year. Once at Iron Man in their duel. Ward ties up on Bright's wrist. We come up on a minute now. Half shot there. Bright Ward sprawls back and up and Ward committed to wrestle at the University of North Carolina next season. Bright is a junior. Although I asked assistant coach Jeff Leonard where he was looking to go to school, his response is wherever he wants. Certainly, I think most coaches in the country will recruit Bright, who's really made the jump. Certainly was a good wrestler, one of the anchors in their lineup last season. Now he's one of the elite kids in America. I even think he's the best kid on this St. Ed's team, which is no small feat given that stars they have. Bright was the Iron Man runner-up as he doubles. Close to through Ward, great leg defense from Ward, but Bright chain wrestles back to the leg. Ward Wizards now reaches for an ankle of his own. It's Bright with the leg, we're scrambling the edge, now Bright will kick out and score. No, he does not, as Ward keeps that leg free, scrambling on the edge. Five seconds left, short time. Fantastic scramble there from both wrestlers. It's Joey Ward's got to feel good after surviving that one. 0-0 zero, zero after one, Bright's choice, and he'll go down. I said it would be a fun one. They had not failed to deliver so far after one period. Ward covers. Immediately spiral half. Bright, though, to his feet. And Ward will kick him away. 10 seconds into the period. 1-0 Edgar Bright. Should this go to ride outs, Bright will have choice for scoring first. Something to keep in the back of your mind in what is going to be a tight bout. Duck attempt there. Ward, nothing. from the outside, Ward works from space. St. Ed's coaches said a key for Bright will be not to chase him around the mat, make him come to you and wrestle. Ward now short offense, 105 left. Bright though pops his head, hand fights. Clears tie, a minute left in the period. Bright leads Ward 1-0. Both of these wrestlers, no strangers to overtime in state finals. Each of their finals went to OT last year. Shrug attempt there, Ward on the edge. We go out of bounds, no score. But Ward has looked Good so far in this one. Not very often a returning state champ is an underdog to a kid who hasn't won one. I think that was the case coming into this, but they look very even on their feet. Through three and a half minutes. 26 seconds left as we restart. For 121, 26, please. It'll be Ward's choice in the third. Bright gets close to a single, can't finish. Ward changes his level, 10 seconds left. And that will, nope, not quite, early. Three seconds left, that will do it in this period. As Bright leads Ward 1-0, Ward goes underneath with a chance to tie things up. Bright 
does ride well, so Ward's gonna need to work from bottom. Forward, forward, break the muscles, face. The hand fights underneath. Of course, I say that, and Brett kicks Ward after 15 seconds. So this one will be decided on our feet. 1-1, third period between these two nationally ranked wrestlers. Bright changes his level, Ward follows. Now short offense, Edgar Bright. Ward posted on the mat, prevents him from spinning. 30 seconds gone by in the period. We'll blow it dead, 124 on the restart. Bright gets hit in the nose and taken. Will not take injury time. He's checking himself for blood. 118 is our reset. Right hand finals war 105 to go. Shrug attempt, right, nothing. Ward clears the tie in with one minute left in this one. 132 pounds. Even score. Half shot by Bright, nothing. Now Ward. Left side hook. Bright can't shoot through it. Bright clears tie. 43 seconds left. You see Ward getting active from space. Shrug attempt. Now Bright in her leg. Ward defended this well in the first. Ward's wizard on the side, right sucking back, digs for a head, nothing, 25 seconds to go. Ward fighting for his life here. Right as his legs completely sucked in, Ward trying to make himself long and stay away. Right drives forward, 10 seconds to go. Now goes behind, Ward to his feet, does not do up the takedown. Joey Ward averts disaster again, and we will go to overtime here at 132. Again, should we go to ride out, it would be Bright's choice underneath. Again, both of these guys, no strangers to overtime. Ward won his state title in ride outs last year. Bright lost in this one minute period last season. Single attempt, Bright can't quite get to a leg. 37 seconds left. Ward circles, Bright clears. 30 to go in OT. You think back there, actually at Ironman, Bright wrestled a pair of double overtime matches. One against the nation's top-ranked wrestler, Alex Cisneros, who he beat, as well as Kagan Squire, who Bright beat last night, or not Bright, Ward beat last night in semis. Level change, Ward nothing, 10 seconds to go. This one looks like we're headed to rideouts. Double from way out, Bright, Ward tries to circle, one second left. Look at each other for a second, go to overtime. Disc flip goes to Ward, who will go under to start our alternating 30 second ride out. And Ward was out very quickly in the, in the third. Right. Tries a breakdown off the whistle. Five seconds in, Ward hand fighting underneath. Bright works out to the side. Ward reversal hunting maybe. 13 seconds left, Ward knee slides, he's out. So 2-1 lead, Joey Ward. Five seconds left, we'll look at each other and Bright goes under in the third. Or under in the second over now, I'm sorry. Half Nelson. 
Jason Joey Ward Bright to his feet. Leached across the leg is Ward Bright. Will step out. 21 seconds left in this OT. If Ward rides out, he will win this 2-1. back to that spiral in half, can't quite slide a leg. Bright is up, Bright's kicking away. Ward now has a leg, this will burn clock as Bright frantically is trying to get out of bounds. Think the Moeller crowd wants to fling the mat, they won't get it, nine seconds left. Ed side wants Ward for hanging on the ankle. Joey Ward nine seconds away from his second state title. Look for him to go back to that spiral and claw ride. White, or yeah, White Bright jumps the whistle, which will burn a second of time. He doesn't have the waist. But every little bit's gonna count on his restart. Actually, they'll, they'll kick that nine second back on. Again, claw by Ward, Bright rolls, five seconds left, Bright not quite away. Joey Ward going to be your state champion at 132 pounds. Back to back overtime rideouts gives Ward two titles for the Archbishop Moeller Senior. What a win, I guess that's your outstanding wrestler. Joey Ward, 2-1 winning, double overtime over Edgar Bright.